Welcome back to Pokemon Moon. Last time, we got a Popleo. And now, we're gonna do something with it, maybe. Hang on a second. I feel like I'm forgetting somebody, yeah? If you really like to get to know your new friend Popleo, you could check out all its information in your Pokedex. I already did. If you, could, if you two can work in harmony with each other, you can go anywhere together. Thanks, Sumo Bro. Uh, so... What else is going on around here? On sunny days like this, I like to just wander around following the wind, don't you? Wait, hang on. Sunny... It's nighttime, you dingus. I'm gonna go in this house. This is a fancy place. That Hala, he's too soft on Yang Hao. When Hala is just a little thing, he once saw Hala in a real fury, and old Hala's face was so terrible that the boy burst into tears. Hala couldn't do a thing to console him. I think he's been holding something of himself back in front of Hao ever since that day. Kahuna Hala is real strict when it comes to his training. Oh, not training for Pokemon battle or nothing. I'm talking about his sumo training. Sumos are pretty rad. More stuff about... Oh, this is about spicy stuff and not sour stuff. You know the festival here in Iki Town? Well, some years there are no 11-year-old kids setting out to hold a sacred battle for us. Those years, Hala gets to take part, and we dedicate a bout of sacred Alolan Sumo to the Guardian instead. Eleven-year-old kids is a very specific set of individuals. So I can see how that would be a problem. It's a chair, amazing tr ma bleh, it's a chair made using traditional folk craft passed down in Alola since days of old. So am I to assume that my character here is 11? Because I think she looks a bit older than 11. Ah, a toilet. And sea cucumbers. Pew. Look, look. And a tub. Sea cucumbers watch you while you use the bathroom. Good things to know about the Alola region. Maybe Pokemon characters age differently or something. And 11 year olds are like... Oh, hey. Hey, you and me, let's have a Pokemon battle. <laughs> Where's the fire, boy? What kind of Pokemon battle would that be where you don't even give a name first, eh? Blink. Fair enough. Then I'm Hal, and my partner is Litten. Your Popleo looks really cool, too. Thanks? <laughs> yeah, so let's battle! I couldn't wait for you to find your way to Iki Town, so I've been looking all over for you. Um... I don't really like to see Pokemon battles where Pokemon can get hurt, but I'll watch for you. Oh, they, they don't get hurt. Oh yeah, your first battle already! Just have your Pokemon dish out some moves and see who wins! Woo! I appreciate you being willing to take on my grandson here. I expect a no-holds-barred battle from the both of you. Well, they're... okay. Whether you win or lose is all up to the moves you choose to use. Oh, yeah. Please give my grandson a fine battle. Um, I'm repeating my dialogue. You'll battle me, right? I know you will, right? Yeah, and I won't lose. This is going to be great. Very well, then. Let the Pokemon battle begin. It's... How? And a cat. 
All right, Wallace. You have the type advantage, but that doesn't matter because we won't start with type moves, probably. So, Pokemon Sun and Moon let you see the trainers, for one, and also they got fanciness to them. So, this is what the bottom screen looks like. It's pretty fancy and stuff. Oh, I, wow, I, I do have three moves. That's something. I do have Water Gun. And I can look at the move info by pressing some buttons. So, pretty much use Water Gun. Litten will use Scratch. I will take tiny amounts of damage, and then I will destroy. That wasn't a growl at all, that was a meow. I guess at level 5 you don't know the difference between sounds. And the cat died. Hooray for Wallace, he is the champion. Oh, they shortened the level up jingle. And they made it fancy. hoo I can see that they they improved and interestingified all the visuals. Hooey! That gave me chicken skin! I have no idea what that means. Betty, right? Your Popplio was awesome! Now that settles it. I'm going all out tomorrow. Hmm? Betty, would you be so kind as to give me a look at that sparkling stone you have there? Oh yeah, sure. It was on the ground. It's pretty neat. Could it be? Tutu, isn't that... You were rescued by Tapu Koko at the bridge. Isn't that what I heard, Medi? Yeah. So it even deigned to give you a stone. Perhaps you are here in Alola, Medi, because this is where you are meant to be. Allow me to borrow this stone for now. Fret not, I'll return it to you tomorrow evening. It would seem that you have the makings of a fine trainer. You must do the honor of joining in our festival tomorrow. First I'll make sure you get home safe t First I'll make sure you get back home safe today though, Medi. Lily, you two you two should come with us too, yeah? Wouldn't want to go losing you twice in one day. You are that precious Pokemon of yours. Yes, I'll keep an eye on Pew! Oh, you! Would you try not to escape the very moment that you were told not to wander off? Everybody laughs. Nothing catastrophic will come of that. Wow, I even have a garage. Welcome back, Medi! So, what kind of Pokemon did you get? Don't keep me waiting! Mom, just look at it. Barf? Oh, I think I'm falling in love! So why'd you choose this, sweetheart? Because it's cute? Well then, you picked right. Because I'd say this little charmer is definitely cute and cool. The two of you look great together. I feel happier just looking at the pair of you. Meow? Bar? I thought Meowth was gonna get jealous. Apparently not, though. Time travel the next day. What a stunning sunset. Alright, today's the day I finally unpack. Is that the doorbell? Go see who it is, Medi. Wait, you, you can't see the door from this balcony? Meow. It's important to talk to Meow. I guess it will be daytime now. So it's just night for the intro. Kukui, can't you wait until people open the door for you? Hey there, Medi. It's about time we set up for the festival, yeah! But first, now that you're a real Pokemon trainer with your own Pokemon and all, 
I gotta show you something. Come with me out to Route 1. Have fun at the festival, sweetie. I'm sure you'll have a good time with your new Pokemon pal. He and Meowth will be sure to unpack every last box here. You'll see. I don't think Meowth has agreed to this. Buddy, hurry it up, cousin! Pretend you're a Pokemon and use your agility! Ha. Huh. Wait, do I have any mail? No. Unless I got mail informing me that it is my own house. Yeah, over here! So you know that wild Pokemon will sometimes jump out at you in the tall grass, yeah? Now that you got Popleo there, you can not only fight wild Pokemon, yeah, you can also try and catch them! Woo! <laughs> I'm gonna show you how to catch a wild Pokemon, alright? Keep your eyes on the prize! Professor Kukui demonstrates the encounter rate. Here's a bird. And a dog. bottom screen is instructing me to make my dog tackle a bird and then the bird will peck the dog and it won't be very effective because dogs are made of rock you gotta weaken a Pokemon up a bit before you toss a Pokeball at it Professor Kukui has 50 Pokeballs Alright, Professor, so which buttons do you hold down, and when, in the animation? Dispel the rumor once and for all. You cut your jingle there. Oh yeah! Wild Pokemon do sometimes attack people if they get close, but catch them and they'll join your team and be a great help to you, yeah! But if your Pokemon get all tuckered out by fighting for you, just head home for a bit. If you ask your mom, well, she'll she I'm sure she'll let you and your whole team rest up at home. Or you could use some potions. Here's some Pokeballs and potions to get you started out. Ten Pokeballs. And five potions. And ukulele jingles. Why don't you have a little adventure of your own on the way to Iki Town, yeah? Take good care of Medi Popleo. I named him Wallace. Nobody understands this. Alright, our first wild Pokemon is... a bird. As was previously established to be the case. So I guess I'll catch stuff. This is a ladybird. Now, I don't really have names in mind for most of the things in this game. So I'll probably just name them random things that enter my head when I get to the naming screen. Traumatic zooming! Just to be contrary, I'm going to press no buttons this animation and make all of the kids at the playground rage inside. Pick-a-peck was caught. Let's learn about Pick-a-peck. First of all, it's a bird. Second of all, it got registered. Good job, Pick-a-peck. This Pokemon feeds on berries, whose leftover seeds become the ammunition for the attacks it fires off from its mouth. The Woodpecker Pokemon. Alright. Your name shall be... Winifred. Because I said so.
We have a little animation for wading through the grass. That's kind of adorable. So I'm, I'm guessing there's also rock rough around here. Somewhere. I could get some free experience while I'm here though. Wait, hold on. I just noticed something on my move screen that I will have to mention in a second. That's a ladybug. I didn't expect a ladybug. Anyway, um... Wait a minute. It didn't say at that time. Hmm. I thought I saw it say whether my moves were effective or not. The saving you the trouble of remembering type matchups. But. Yes, I must have imagined it. Let's catch a ladybug and then never use it. Poor ladyaba and lady are not very useful. But Wallace leveled up and got numbers. Everyone loves numbers. Lady Bob registered. Lady Bob, the five-star Pokemon, more like one star. They communicate with one another using bodily fluids that give off odors. When they're angry, their odor smells sour. Uh, I'm not gonna even nickname you. I'm sorry. And a Caterpie. I might use Caterpie, because Butterfree is pretty good. At least in my opinion. So, let's see. running into all female Pokemon, except I've actually already forgotten what gender the Ladybug was, so maybe I'm making that up? Caterpie, hooray, bugs. Registered! Caterpie, the worm Pokemon. It's easy to catch and it grows quickly, making it one of the top recommendations for novice trainers. That doesn't say anything about the actual Pokemon, but okay. Your name shall be... I spelled it right. If I didn't, it's artistic license and or because I'm 11 years old. Or a pick a peck. And 
I guess I will fight you. Enjoy some water. Oh, a critical hit, you dead. Items appear to be very shiny. It was a potion. Oh no. A Pokemon trainer. How menacing. When the eyes of Pokemon trainers meet, it's time to battle. This is true. Youngster Jimmy. Ah, so he's not quite Youngster Joey. But he does have a Rattata. Except it's an Alolan Rattata, so it looks different. Die is the same, though. Excuse me, I mean faints. I lost, but that was still exciting. Don't bite your nails, Jimmy. It's a bad habit to get. I'll raise my Pokemon by making a battle, so someday I'll be able to look you in the eyes. First, you might want to invest in getting taller. So there's like a little warning when you're near a trainer battle then. Hey. I'll show you my sister who I'm super close to. What? Is, is a Pokemon your sister? Lass Audrey. Is, is your sister a Caterpie? Seems a little weird. At least the gender is correct. Oh, I see. Okay. Now I see it. See, uh, it says effective here. I guess because I have fired upon a Caterpie with a... Uh, is it because I have caught a Caterpie? So I know it's typing? Sort of like when you scan an enemy in Persona games or something. I assume it would also say not effective, or super effective, or immune, or whatever. Oh, I've had it. So that's interesting. I wonder if that carries over against other players. My Pokemon! Papa caught her for me when I was born, so she's always with me. That's kind of adorable. You found a Pokeball. How long do Caterpies live? Wow, that's dark. Route 1, the number one route on the spectrum. And there's just casually a wall here. You can't even look at it to have it explain that it's a wall. Trainer tips! Pokemon can gain experience points by battling other Pokemon. Experience points help them grow stronger. Your Pokemon will still get experience points even if you catch a Pokemon you're battling against. Hooray. And a potion. That is a long sight radius. Hey, please battle me! At least he's polite about forcing you to fight him. Preschooler Oliver! People in Pokemon games mature a lot faster than people in real life. I mean, there are people who are in their 70s who are still incredibly immature, so... I suppose that goes without saying. I 
should probably use a potion on Wallace here. Since apparently I'm insisting on only using him so far. Disarming voice. If you're strong, please go away. Well, okay, he's a little immature. Great trainers can sense promise in other trainers. Did you pick up on anything? Um, why is Pokemon Refresh wiggling on this bottom screen here? Do I have to poke a nose? Somebody wants a nose boot. Hooray. Maybe it was wiggling because I have other Pokemon that I could switch to and poke. But it doesn't seem to be wiggling anymore, so who knows? I will heal that Wallace. Why were there suddenly drums? Is that meaningful? Oh, well, there's a Metapod. Is that meaningful? Level 3 Metapod. That never happens. So what's Disarming Voice? A Fairy move. Power 40. Never misses. This probably existed before, but I forgot about it. Man, Metapod's defense went up, so on the bottom screen it's got like a little plus thing. Can I poke it? No, I cannot. Let's look at that Metapod dramatically. Might as well go ahead and catch it. I don't know if I'm going to use Caterpie or not. Register! Its shell is hard, but it's still just a bug shell. It's been known to break, so intense battles with it should be avoided. Well... Alright. That sounds gruesome, potentially. Uh, I'm not gonna nickname Metapod. Yeah, there's those drums. Is it just... Am I just near to some drums? Is that all? Oh, it was like... Blending the music between the two areas or something. People are getting pretty excited over here. The Alola region is made up of four islands. Of our four islands. And each island has its own guardian Pokemon. Our festival today is held to express our thanks to these great Pokemon guardian deities for always remaining by our sides. Well, we may call it a festival, but it's just this little thing you see here. There may not be many of us, but at least every last one of us here goes all out. All right, it's pretty, pretty cheerful looking place going on. The place where we give thanks to Pokemon. Tapu Koko just loves Pokemon battles, watching them and having them. If you treat your Pokemon wrong, the guardian deity will strike you down with lightning. But the children all laugh when I tell them that. 
those reckless youngsters will get what's coming to them. My Rockruff is the best bodyguard ever. She always comes with me when I go shopping. She lies outside my door when I sleep. Ruff Ruff. Rock Ruff there was a wild Pokemon when we got her, but now she's like part of the family. When I see her roughhousing with my little girl, I can't help but smile. Don't you mean rock roughhousing? <laughs> my little brother's always coming home covered in mud just like his Pokemon. The two of them are more alike than he and I are. Did you know? When a rock ruff really likes you, it rubs against you with the stones on its neck. It does kinda hurt. Ruff ruff. It probably does mean I could have gotten a rock ruff by now. Opening a window lets night come creeping in. If you leave one open, it'll make you sleepy. What? Okay. Both Pokemon and people grow sleepy after eating a lot. It's fine. It's a fine time to sleep deeply and wake up to a glorious morning. I think all time is a good time to sleep. But I'm probably wrong about that. It's said that ancient peoples rode over the waves and seas together with their Pokémon to settle the Alola region. Different people interact with Pokemon in their own different ways. Some may see them as allies in battle, while others just enjoy sharing their lives with them. Why not both? I, for one, enjoy booping a nose. Oh, how's it, Medi? Man, I thought you'd never make it. Me and Lutton have been waiting for ages. Grr. Hold on, didn't anyone explain to you about tonight? Looks like the explaining crew is here. Oh yeah, right on time! But to what exactly? Pew! A full-powered festival for Pokémon battling. We battle in the name of Tapu Koko, pitting our best moves against one another in friendly competition to please our guardian. Woo! So you two will be taking part in the battle? I don't like seeing Pokemon fight one another since they so often getting uh, end up getting hurt. It seems like this is an important event, so I'll be sure to watch you both. Your Pokemon have fought for you, so show them the same care in return, Medi. Allow me to heal them for you this time. I was gonna look for Pokemon centers, so are you ready for this Pokemon battle? I guess so. Then let's begin. For all life on our islands. And for those who undertake the island challenge with joy in their hearts. We pray for your protection. For them and all Mele Mele. May this Pokemon battle be an offering to our island's guardian deity, Tapu Koko. Before you stands Hal, grandson to the Kahuna. Before him stands Medi, one who has met with Tapu Koko. What? What a curious little thing Tapu Koko is. That's just typical of it. Popleo, take care of my little Medi. As long as we both have a good time, I think we can call it a great battle, huh? I mean, eh? Medi, how? Bring forth the power of your Pokémon. Has Hal managed to catch anything else yet? Yes, one thing. A Pichu? Where did that come from? But, well... Hmm. Guess I'll just... Use water on it. Oh no, Thundershock. Thundershock. 
So he didn't level anything else. Thundershock from Pichu is not going to kill me unless it gets critical hits and paralyzes and does everything terrible. A critical hit and paralyzes and everything terrible. Okay. Well done, Pichu. You jerk. Uh, hmm. That could be a problem. Zoom in on those pixel men. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to do anything success-shaped with, uh... Well, it looks like I just chucked that potion on. Yes, waste your turn with your butt. Good job. I'm not going to do anything successful with, uh... With, uh... You know... The other things in my party. There we go. Get wet. And now Litten. Who is still weak to water. Oh, and I can actually see super effective and not very effective. I forgot that fire resisted fairy, that's weird. I guess it's because I've used moves on them before, so I know this, rather than that I've caught them. Maybe it's that I've seen them? It's hard to say. Because I haven't used I haven't used disarming voice on them. bottom screen has queued up a thing to care for Popleo for some reason. It's presumably because the battle is over and I have paralysis. What? It's already over? Popleo is displeased. Let's poke this button. Uh, medicine? Comb, towel, brush, dryer. Well, it's medicine. Okay, what do I do with it? Are you refusing to take your medication? Oh wait, no. It's... There we go. I get it. Oop. I just had to rub the medicine enough. Hooey! Another great battle this year! I bet Tapu Koko liked it too. Phew! That was awesome, Medi! That was a really great battle! I had a blast fighting you! It was a good battle. With this, even Tapu Koko. Go, go, go! Ah! You heard it yourself! Tapu Koko's song of approval. Oh, I nearly forgot! I think it's time you take this, Medi! What's this shiny stone? Oh! The Z-Ring! Shouldn't it be like the Z-Bracelet or something? Because it's, I mean, it's not... Not wearing it as a ring or anything. Your Z-Ring, a mysterious armband that can draw out the power that lies deep within Pokémon, can bring forth their Z-Power! We Kahunas can make them by refining stones like the sparkling stone you receive from Tapu Koko. Although you, until you collect more Z crystals during your island challenge, you'll not be able to draw the Z power out of your Pokémon. And yet, you've already received that sparkling stone. It seems Tapu Koko took quite a liking to you. Perhaps it has a mission for you. 
In other words, it's time for you to get out there and start your island challenge. If you visit every island, maybe you'll figure out what that mission is. Whoop, I was holding down on <laughs> the island challenge. Four islands! You'll travel to each of the four islands here in the Olola region. The island challenge is about aiming to be the strongest trainer. The island challenge champion. Woo. Sounds great, right? I can't wait to have a real adventure. I'll explain about the island challenge later. Tapu Koko is amazing, isn't it? I hope I can meet it again someday and thank it for saving Ebony. Phew. Me too. It saved you as well, didn't it? And left you with that sparkling stone. Even though you're a stranger to this place. I suppose it's time we get you kids home, yeah? I suppose this is goodbye. Now I'll see you later, you're too important. Get a fancy hat and everything. Honey, I'm home. Rawr. Oh, Medi, you're back already? I thought you'd want to stay in Iki Town longer. Especially right after that great battle. Oh, I was just captivated to see my own girl fighting in such perfect sync with her Pokemon. Maybe it'd be a good idea for you to try that island challenge thing. Something you can only do in Alola, right? But right now I've got a date with my bed. I danced my feet off at that festival. Night night, sweetie. You get some sleep too. I will. I did. The next day. What time of day will we be at now? What beautiful weather! I wonder what today will bring me. Another doorbell. A visitor! If it's Kukui, he probably let himself in without even waiting for us to open the door. Well, I'm glad the game's caught on to that too. Guess it's not Kukui then. Unless he, like, went upstairs. <laughs> we don't even have an upstairs. Oh. Hello. Oh, um, the professor said... Hey there, Lily! Bring me that great new trainer! Woo! So I'm here to show you the way to his Pokémon lab, if you'll come with me. It's, um... it's this way. Betty! Here, a little pocket money for you. Don't go wasting it on anything too silly. I'll spend it on fashion. Oh, well done, Betty! You're already making friends, aren't you? What a cute little friend you found. I knew Alola would be a great place for us. We just keep meeting wonderful people here. L me? Well, well, thank you. My name is Lily. It's very nice to meet you. <laughs> Looks like it's finally your time to shine, sweetie. Show yourself out there with Popleo, and don't be gone too long. Cat noise. You have a very nice mother, don't you? We should get going. I'll show you to the Pokemon Research Lab. Alright. But first... This has gone on for a while, so it's time to save and stop. Until next time, Pokemon Moon. And then next time, Pokemon Moon. Wow! Amazing. I have to remember to go left. Thank you.